Ghana Revenue Authority actually embarked on an exercise to enforce compliance with its electronic VAT invoices system, where a number of managers were actually arrested for flouting their rules. And they'd been asked to um, hook onto the EVAT system and sell their products to the public through that particular platform so that the tax collector can basically collect or identify in real time how fast people purchase from these retail shops across the country and how much of VAT they pay on these products. I have here with me the manager of the Palace Mall uh, on the Spintest Stretch uh, in the person of Mohamed Salami. We at Palace consider ourselves one entity as part of Ghana with the GRA, the Ghanaian government and the Ghanaian people. We are committed to do, doing ethical business that mutually benefits Ghana and us and welcomed our selection to take part in the phase implementation of the EVAT program. As such, any directive given to us as compliant Ghanaian business and as compliant Ghanaian taxpayer will be duly followed. We are vigilantly working with the GRA to make sure any discrepancies the EVAT system has are identified and fixed and remain at the service of our home nation of Ghana and its people, as Palace has always been. What is the status of those that were arrested, your branch managers? Okay, so uh, all the managers that has been arrested have been granted bail, and the uh, GI is still doing their investigation. Was it the same day that they were arrested, that they were uh, released, or they slept there the following day? So, yes, they have been out the same day. They asked them some questions, and they, in three, four hours, they were done with that. Some people don't know about this EVAT thing. Uh, when they, when, as you mean, I come to your shop and I buy something, what might I see on my receipt to know that I have paid the VAT as directed by the uh, GRA? So our system is fully integrated with the GRA system. Once you buy something from here, it will come automatically uh, on the receipt. You can see a QR code. You can scan the QR code. It will take you to the uh, official GRA website, and it will show you the details of your invoice. What is it that the GRA is saying that you were not doing? Okay, so GRA is still investigating what's going on and we are cooperating with them. We are ready to answer any question that is going to be asked. And uh, as I mentioned before, we are fully integrated from day one and uh, that's it. What the Ghana Revenue Authority seem to achieve with its electronic VAT invoices system is to ensure that almost every purchase made from retail shops go through a particular system where they can equally track it from their office to be sure of the number of people who go to this number of uh, retail shops to make purchases and pay the right taxes on whatever they buy. And so I have in my hand here two invoices where I can see the VAT on invoice being 13 cities, 16 pesos. Then the second invoice I have here has a VAT on invoice of 65 cities, point 30 pesos. So that literally means that those who made these purchases made some amount of payment in terms of VAT on the goods they came to purchase from this palace shopping mall. And that is basically what the GRA wants the citizenry to check anytime they get to these shops to make purchases to be sure that whatever they purchase they are paying the right taxes on their goods. The branch manager of Maxmart here at East Legon and the branch managers of Malcolm Shopping Centers that were arrested by the tax force from the GRA have since been released. We've met a number of them and seeking their input as to what they make of GRA's exercise to clamp down on people or shopping centers that are bypassing their system but they said they wouldn't make any comment officially but would want their legal department to handle matters and when investigations are done probably they may want to speak to the media with regards to what the GRA and their shopping center is doing as far as the electronic VAT system is concerned. My name is Fred Duo reporting from Palace Mall here on the speed test stretch for City News.